OnlineFenceStore.com How to cut and fit an aluminum fence panel Tools needed Tape measure Metal cutting saw and safety glasses Metal shears most aluminum fence installations will require a cut fence panel. Common locations for cut panels are at the end of a fence line, adjacent to a gate, or on a corner. Start by measuring the distance between the posts where the cut panel will be installed. Once you have that measurement, add 1 and 1 half inches. That is the length of the cut panel. We add 1 and 1 half inches to the inside to inside measurement so that the cut panel can slide into the post once notched. Mark each fence panel rail with your measurement. Cut each rail using any type of metal cutting saw. Notching is done by using metal shears and removing a 1 8 by 3 quarter piece from both sides of each rail. Once the fence panel is cut and notched, install the panel. If you require a cut fence panel on a corner, you will also have to remove a 1 half by 1 half inch piece from the inside of each rail. This cut will allow both fence panels to fit into the corner post. The process is a little different if you are using wall mounts. At this point in the video, we are installing the cut panel into a post on one end and into wall mounts on the other. While holding a wall mount in place, measure from the face of the post to the inside of the wall mount. Add 3 quarters of an inch. This is the cut panel length. You only need to notch the end of the fence panel that is being installed into a post. When installing into wall mounts, you do not need to notch the fence panel. We hope this video has helped. If you have any questions during installation of our products, we are here to help. For contact information, visit onlinefencestore.com. Be sure to visit our blog for additional resources and installation advice. Thanks for watching.